So I'm walking by Imperial Industries and I know they've got an awesome remote system for their trucks, but then I saw this. Jeff, what do you guys have going on here? What we did here is we kind of took the remote control system a step further. Uh, we upgraded the transmitter so it's a little smaller, a little more compact, fits in your pocket better. Okay. Um, it's still rechargeable. It's got a real nice magnetic charging base that this sits in, no more cords. We tied all of the systems of the truck here in terms of the, the work you do into the systems. Okay. Um, we've got switches on the dash that control uh, the PTOs, the master power, the land application functions all in the cab, that's tied in. Awesome. The gate valves in the back are all tied into this system. And we gave you a, a touch screen so we can get okay. another place to enter information into the system and give us information back. Gotcha. Um, we're also tied into the tank level. Live feedback on what your tank level is. Okay. You can start and stop your, your PTOs. You can control your vacuum uh, control for your blower and work your uh, open and close your intake valves, just like always. Plus, you can do those same functions from the screen, turning PTOs on and off, raising the engine idle, and you can see you're getting a, a real-time feedback on the system as to what's on and what's off. Very cool. Very simple to control. This is all automotive grade. It's good to like negative 40. It's impact resistance. It's, it's made to be outside in tough environments. Okay. Um, whenever we go to neutral, we want you to dwell for 10 seconds to let that energy bleed off the tank so we don't damage the blower. If you ever want to go to manual, um, if the electronics were to all, you know, catastrophically fail, which sure. they won't, but if they did, <laughs> you'd be able to do everything you okay. normally would be able to do Just from in the case. truck. Yeah. One of the things we added was some data acquisition. And so if you press the Imperial logo, you'll see it turns green in the background. The truck's capturing information, uh, the date, the time, the truck number. If the operator, operator were to hit that button at the beginning of his job and at the end of his job, you'd be able to tell how long he was on site, how many gallons he pumped. And as you collected that data during the day, you'd also be able to tell how long it took between stops. You just have to put a thumb drive in this USB port and then hit the USB button and then store to USB. If you go to the maintenance screen, we're gonna be able to tell you how many hours the blower's been run. The Imperial build number, so if you ever need to call Imperial for support, they can drill right down to your truck and get you the answers you need a lot faster. And you're faster. taking all kinds of guesswork out of the equation. We're, we're trying to. Does anybody have anything else like this? I'm industry? not aware of anybody in the in the septic part of the industry that's using this kind of technology on their trucks. Yeah, I mean, this looks absolutely fantastic. Super user-friendly, save time, make more money. That's the yep. name of the game, right? That's right. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Thank you.